Welcome to day one of business as receiving 30 days of elegance with creation. Um, and I'm just making sure everybody's here um, before I close my computer. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we, uh, I, I, I'm just, this, these polls have been, I was just saying before I started the audio, really really facilitating me and looking at and choosing these energies of what is it like to actually have business as receiving the space of receiving that is also like very, very connected to being, being and receiving are very connected. Um, but to have the space where we actually be more, we receive more, and that is the energy that grows our businesses. That is the energy that expands everything that we're asking for. Um, I did a little foreplay Facebook Live on my on my personal page this morning. You guys can watch it later if you didn't see it. Um, it about actually busyness. I was listening to the um, the class that Gary did last summer. Um, what do you need? What do you desire? What do you require? And why? aren't you getting it? And it was a really brilliant class. Hi, Regina, a really brilliant class. Um, and, um, I put it on this morning. I decided I was going to listen to the class again and he's talking about busyness. Um, somebody was asking, Hey, you know, I feel like I'm too busy to actually create. I feel like I'm too busy to create the future that I'd like to create. Like I have too many things going on every day. And Gary was basically like, yeah, because that's what you guys think business is. And, you know, business is actually busyness. Um, it's even spelled almost correctly. <laughs> um, so it, it, so business in this reality is, has absolutely nothing to do with receiving. I mean, this reality has nothing to do with receiving. Business in this reality is busyness. It's doing, it's proving, it's work, effort, suffering, and struggle. It's if I want to make more money, I have to work more. I have to work harder. Um, not how much space can I be? What space am I willing to occupy? How much bigger am I willing to be with my being? How much more am I willing to receive? And am I actually willing to allow my business to contribute to me? Am I allow, willing to allow the universe to contribute to me? And I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Um, because this unfortunately is not a very popular conversation and I'm sort of like one of my big missions in life is to change that in the world. Um, and you know, the way that we change that in the world is actually by changing that with ourselves and, um, contributing to each other as much as we can. And so I've been looking at this a lot, you know, like what is that, like, how, where am I like doing to prove that I'm creating business rather than actually, you know, and where do I actually have the point of view that doing is required? Cause I don't, for me, it's not so much like I'm going to do to prove like if that's not the cognitive sort of process, it's more, um, Emily, the busyness is exactly what's been up in my universe. So grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of like, so cause the creation of future is not, it's actually about the energy that we be and what we're asking for and what we're willing to receive. And so, so as I've been playing with this in my own world, it's like, it's like what, like the choice to actually sort of sit back and truly be and truly ask questions and truly perceive what is actually going to contribute. Um, that's a big choice. Um, because we get very distracted. You know, we have these amazing distractor implants <laughs> and they're designed to keep us lock, stock and barrel in this reality. So we have the distractor implant of doubt, of fear, of, you know, business is a distractor implant. Um, so we have all these distractor implants and they're literally, they're, they're very design is you're, you go too far beyond this reality. The distractor implants rear their ugly heads pull you back in, loop you back in. Now here you are. So business, business as receiving and the elegance of creation that is available to us with business as receiving is business that is not the distractor in plan of business. It's actually business as creation, business as being, business as receiving. And the choice for that 
and the like the day-to-day -day, what are you actually doing with your time and the choice to cultivate those energies it's a big choice and there will be a lot of moments um, where or at least there have been for me where the more I sort of sit back into the receiving and the space and the being of what I would like to create the more those distractors get loud and it's like uh yeah you know like I should be doing something right now and we have these thoughts and these conclusions and these decisions and these computations and these distractions that come up because somehow we've you know been so taught to believe that if we are actually um if we if we you know if we do we will have the money that we require we will have the business that we require etc and if you let go of that, it's like the fear, the doubt, the distraction, the business, that all this stuff pops up of like, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose my money flows. I'm going to lose my business. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. So all the secret, hidden, invisible, covert, unseen, unacknowledged, undisclosed implants and explants creating that as your reality and everything that you aligned and agreed with or resisted and reacted to that allows that to be. Will you please destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, give all name, puck, punch, hurts, boys and beyonds. So being totally present also weave into this very dynamically for me too. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Eva. Because the presence is, and you know, that we have this tool, the 10 second increments of choice, um, one of the 10 keys to freedom. 10 second increments of choice is a tool for presence. It really is a tool for presence, especially when you're being interesting point of view, which is another of the 10 keys. Um, being interesting point of view, not having a point of view, not going to decision, judgment, conclusion, computation, not going to, I have to do this in order for, but actually like taking a moment, like allowing this space to expand so dynamically that it seems like there's kind of nothing going on, which has, this shows up a lot for me where I'm like, it's kind of like nothing's happening except for this is where everything shows up. And we flip it and we distract ourselves out of it rather than, okay, What's the space? What's the, what, is the, what is it that my business could contribute to me, desires to contribute to me? What is it that the universe could contribute to me? If I was willing to ask for it, and if I was willing to receive it. And the cool thing is, is with the asking, we don't even have to ask necessarily um, for, uh, we don't have to necessarily ask for the specific things, but you can just be like, like I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday. I'm like, what if you just ask the universe to surprise you? You know, hey, I know there's a different solution here. I know there's a different possibility here. Um, really possibility, not solution. But I know there's a different possibility with all of this and what I'm seeing. So universe, will you please surprise me? Like knock my socks off. Show me something so different that like and hit me upside the head with it so I actually pay attention when I go into the insanity of refusing to perceive a different possibility override me you know these are things that we can ask for of the universe of you know the beings that are here to contribute to us of our business hey show me what you got show me what you got you know show me what you know show me what you can contribute show me what it is that you you know that you can create here um, show me what's possible. So we don't have to get specific with it. You don't have to know what to ask for in order to ask for it. I love that. How cool is that? You can just be like something different now, please, you know, and let that show up. Um, that's been really up in my world lately with this, with the energy of demand, actually making a demand for something different without knowing necessarily what it is. Um, and actually just going like I, for me have really just realized that I've been very bored with what I'm creating and, um, and it's not that what I'm doing is boring. It's that actually I, I could really use, like, it would be really awesome to have about a million fold more of everything, you know, that I'm actually up to. But what I can't, I like, I keep going to, well, I'm going to have to actually work a lot more, a lot harder. And I don't even really have the time to do that, you know, total linearity, no question, total conclusion, total computation. And so I started, so just the other day I was like, all right, universe, a million fold more 
I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it is. Like a million fold more that's fun for me, that's dynamic for me, that has me engaged in a different way than I ever have been before. And surprise me, you know, just show me what you got. Like, I don't need to have a point of view about what this looks like. Because if we are enjoying our lives, we're enjoying our businesses, things are thriving, money is flowing, we're having fun, you're not going to care what it looks like if it's different than what you think it should look like. You're not going to actually care because you're going to be having way too much fun to care. You're going to be like, how cool is that? This is how the universe works, you know? So let the, invite the universe to surprise you. Invite your business to surprise you. Ask your business, hey, what would you like to be? You know, ask the universe to show you, hey, you know, what would this like to be? Um, and as you do, um, allow, allow it, like get out of your own way, get out of the, your points of view of what anything needs to look like. Because that is one of the most just like one of the most dynamically ways that we refuse receiving is by having points of view of what it needs to look like. And then all of a sudden there's a whole universe of possibilities that you can't even perceive because not because you're like, it has to look like this. It has to look like this. It has to look like this. How do you handle that? You use the total interesting point of view. So what, what, ha, so you guys are here. You've chosen these energy poles. You've chosen this 30 day conversation. Brilliant choice. Um, and now what are you like? Are you willing to let go? Are you willing to let go into the space of being, the space of receiving, the chaos of not knowing, and the total beyond this reality, delight and joy and glory and ease of allowing your business to show you, allowing the universe to show you what it's got that is so far beyond anything you've ever considered, so much greater than everything, anything that you've ever considered so different than anything you've ever considered, but that would actually give you what it is that you've been asking for and beyond. And everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, get bad only, pock, pock, shirts, boys, reds. Are you willing to go on an adventure, a 30-day adventure of elegance, of having more ease than most people are willing to have, of having greater creation than most people are willing to have, of having a level of, of receiving and being that most people are not willing to have, of having th of the, like the cultivation of that as the space of creation with business rather than the busyness that keeps you distracted from what you truly desire, what you truly be, and what you can truly receive. So what energy, space, consciousness, and choice can you and your body be to be out of control, out of definition, out of limitation, out of form, structure, significance, out of concentricity and out of linearity with total ease, with receiving, with total ease. Everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, let's destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pock, posh, shorts, boys and beyonds. So get the energy of that. And this is where we'll just go into the energetic space of the, of the energy pull. Get the energy of that. Just perceive what would it actually be like you know, if anything that I'm saying here is lightening up your world, is creating space for you, what would it actually be like to have this, um, to have this space that is you and to have it all the time and to be it all the time, what would it be like? If business was actually truly ease, joy, and glory, if it was actually like that you were willing to be and to receive and to create from there so dynamically, <clears throat> that your the creation of everything was miraculous. What does your body know about that? What does your being know about that? What does your business actually know about that? What is it? And I just mean, when I say your business, I just mean your life, the business of your life. 
What does it know? What would it love to contribute to you? What would it love to contribute to you? Allow yourself to receive that. Allow yourself to perceive that. Allow yourself to be that. those energies to nurture your body, your being, your life, living, reality, your business, your money flows. What if everything that you desire is available to you when you're willing to have ease, joy, and glory? if everything that you desire is available to you for the asking? Are you willing to let go into the beauty of the universe? The beauty of the earth? The beauty of creation? The beauty of living? The beauty of the joy of you? the joy of your life and living. That is such a rare choice on planet Earth and yet the thing that would allow everybody and everything to thrive. Lower your barriers to those energies. Let your mind go. Lower your barriers more and more and more and more and more and more. Relax. Relax. It is in the relaxation that the awareness of creation can come with total ease. It is in the relaxation that the awareness of creation and the awareness of possibilities can nurture you and tickle you and bring you alive and feed you. Allow this space to grow and expand and get bigger and wider and bigger and wider and bigger and wider. Occupy the entirety of the universe. What it is that you know about this. What it is that you be, that you just have been hiding from yourself in the world. Let it rip right now. Let it shine. Let it explode. Let the universe celebrate the receiving that you are willing to be. And include in this space everything that you desire, known and unknown, just the energies of it, not the specificities, just the energies of yes. A life of total joy and ease, glory, the exuberance of living, money just flowing with ease, as much money as you require to have everything that you would like to have, all the fun that you would like to have, and more. A business that just has you bound out of bed every day with excitement and delight and enthusiasm about what you're creating 
relationships that contribute to you, where you can create, where you're nurtured, you know, people in your life, experiences, level of presence with your body that you adore. Fill the universe with that. With no need, with no point of view, universe, bring it on. Show me, surprise me, delight me, show me. Show me, show me what you've got. Show me what's possible. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to be, I'm willing to receive. And allow all of the energies that you're asking for to flood the molecules of the universe, to flood the molecules of you, your body, your business, your being. Let everything just pour into your world. Bringing with it all of the people, all of the realities, all of the creations, all of the spaces of joy and play, all of the money, all of the play, all of the everything. that you truly desire and the knowing that you don't have to be in control and you don't have to know how. Let it just flood your world. Let it wake up every cell, every molecule of your body and being and send little trickles out, just tickly, trickly, opalescent, iridescent, vroom all over the universe so that everybody and everything that is actually looking to contribute to you can find you with ease. Everything that is and everyone that is looking to contribute, to receive, to play, to create in whatever way that is, they can find you with ease. Be the invitation to a different reality of being and receiving. Allow yourself to receive what you already be, what you already know, what you've already chosen, and pull it in. Alrighty, guys, have fun with that, and I will see you tomorrow.